well hello again kindred spirits and thank you for returning and for those of you who are new i'm linda smith davis and this is my channel new england fine living where i hope to inspire others to find their own version of fine living no matter how simple or grand that may be so for today's video i'm going to focus on refined finds and when i use the word refined of course, it means several different things. You can have refined, like refined sugar, removed of impurities, refined, refined, found, my thrifting, my consignment, my swap shops. Also, I like to shop for things that are refined, that are a little more stylish, elegant, cultured, things that I feel just elevate the mood of a room or when I use them will elevate my mood. And what's refined for me is going to be different for you. So when I show you some things that I feel are refined and you don't, that's okay. It's all preference. We are all different with what we like and what we don't like. So I want to show you some items that I feel are refined that I will either be using here in the home or I'll be reselling at my store or online. Now, some of this, it's going to be a walk around the house and it's just gonna be some close-ups. It's not gonna be a full house tour this time, but you'll see how I use some of the items in our home. Some of the items are propped against a wall, just like I have a few things here right now. And I should say, also, refined, I'm, I refound some things up in our loft that I forgot I had, that I had from previous stores. So that's also a refind, literally. So let's take a little tour and let me show you some things that I have around the house. And then a little later in the video, I might add some things for the gardening that I've done and just show you some stuff around the house. And then also I'm gonna just do a little um, gardening update and I'm going to show you the wallpaper that I found for the tavern that I did start putting up. It's a removable wallpaper. I'll show you an opening of that. And then I'm also going to just show you a little bit of what I've been doing around the house. So it's a little this and that video, but today we're going to focus on refined finds in Sugarwood and things that I will most likely be sharing online and at my store. I hope you enjoy today's video. This is a refined. This was up in our loft and I've had that with us traveling from home to home. I bought this almost 20 years ago for our shop. It never made it to the shop because I moved and then I just been carrying it around. So that might be heading to the store because I don't have any doorways that that would, I think, look great over. I've tried it in other spots. It just doesn't work. I tried to move the prints to our hallway that doesn't have a lot of reflection, but I'm still getting reflections. But let me show you here in the room. I guess I've been on kind of a floral thing, which I don't usually have a lot of florals in our house, but I think it might be time to start. Now, the ones that don't work here, I will definitely be selling at my shop. But right now, I just love these colors and these have all been purchased thrifting and a lot of them have a little touch of black but also the soft sage greens the taupes the browns that I like but also the blue I really love this blue it reminds me of when I was little the blue morning glories and actually in this picture there are blue morning glories in it and that's what first grabbed my attention so i'm going to try these first in the home and once again if not if they don't work i will then be bringing them to the shop this particular one will probably come out more in the fall it is looks like a hand water colored it is vintage and i'm going to take the back off which it could, you could tell that it was reframed i just want to see if there's any markings or anything but these are some items that I believe just give a little refined moon to the house. Don't you agree, little girl? Out on the porch here, I'm starting to do a little cleanup. But this is something I picked up the other day. 
I love cloches. Now, I honestly don't know if this is new to look old, but I liked it, the price was right, and this is my third cloche. So now I can say I have a collection. You're gonna keep hearing me say that. So this is a, another piece that I found. I'm going to be putting it here, probably on a shelf in the porch, because right now it's not needed outside. Another thing, I don't know if I shared this. I know I did a whole video about taking the lights off of this that I found when I was out consignment shopping. Oh, we really don't have any light here. But this is a really great looking faux abravite. And I ended up putting it in an urn that I have. Now this is a foam urn. I've had this, I can't even tell you how many years. It's, it's old, but it's foam. It's traveled with me. I've painted it several colors. I'm going to put lights in this tree and I just thought it would be so nice to be here on the porch at night listening to the tree frogs at night, have the twinkle lights, and then I'll be able to watch fireflies. So I'm very much looking forward to getting this part of the room done. Still have not painted the walls. It's still the primed gray because I'm waiting for this window to come in with the others. We keep getting told it's delayed, it's delayed, but it should be here soon, hopefully. So then this wall will be clapboarded, the window will be in, then I'll paint. And something that's different out here, Ben put in the screens. I can't say I was completely thrilled because I love the look of the paint glass on here, but it does get too hot in the summer. So right now, He's going to appease me by leaving the paned glass at the end because we found those when we first moved in. And when he put them in, I was so excited. So right now, we're going to just keep this screened. He'll probably put the two screened windows in on either side of the door, just so we have a cross breeze. But the other morning, it was in the low 30s and it was chilly here on the porch. But it is, it's nice sitting out here hearing the birds and everything else. I ended up taking the trunk outside. It's quite heavy. So I was able to slide it out on its felt pads and then kind of got it out there. And when Ben gets home, it's gonna go out in the sugar shack, I believe. So yeah, that's, so I had that here on the porch and this item also, I can't say this is refined, but it's gonna be functional. I can leave a little note in there, put some, little gardening tools, you name it. And I'm not sure if that's the, the final resting spot for it, but I hung it there for now. It might go by the door, I'm not sure. One of those pieces of art could look very pretty out here as well. Um, okay, I don't know who did this. <laughs> I'm actually seeing a smiley face in my dirty glass. Can you see that? I don't know if that was my daughter, Ben, a delivery person, but that just made my day. All right, that's perfect. There's no keeping these clean living on a dirt road with rain and splashing. I try, but that's hysterical. I'm gonna have to find out who left that. And also, I guess I was just looking at my mess out here too. I have things that are gonna go back up into the shed, my early, early spring things. And I have some dump run stuff and shopping bags that are going to go back in my car. That's how I roll. I got everything out at least towards the car, but I didn't want to get too distracted. I have shown this corner basket, but while cleaning out our front hall, which I might as well show you that too. I haven't really shown the front hall. We found a cane and I first cleaned it out. I found this cane hidden and tucked away behind a little somewhat secret door. I'll show you that in a moment. And then the other day, I ended up picking this cane up for $5 in case my mom visits and wants to use it. It has actually a little pointy tip. So right now we have a walking stick in there. I have a couple other umbrellas I'm gonna add. And this is perfect for the porch. And when I purchased this corner basket year and a half ago, I knew it was going to be on this porch once the porch was remodeled. Yeah, let me show you that little closet door while I'm thinking about it. 
so this is our closet that we use for a coat closet which I firmly believe used to be the stairway that probably went upstairs when this house was first first built but right here is another little door oops I gotta lose move my shirt here there's another little door that goes to behind the chimneys and this is where we did find all the windows were stored and also I found the cane tucked in here way in back is how we also knew there was a third fireplace that was taken down but yeah that was that's where I found the cane <laughs> Ben and I we have our letterman's jackets in here so that was we both graduated same high school and no we don't fit into them <laughs> it would be nice though but we finally we that closet was kind of a catch-all and finally cleaned that up well here's a little mishmash of things I just unwrapped them from some of the boxes and bags that I had here next to the table and I thought I would show you some of the items that I purchased so I always love soup spoons now these soup spoons are quite large and I just noticed that some of them are different vendors so whoever put this set together did a really nice job now one of these does have a symbol on here that one's not one of them let's see if I can find it this one it has a marking but there's also EP listed in there and I'm not going to probably not be able to show that closely but these are electroplated with silver at least that particular one the others I'm not so sure those still need to be cleaned up I found these beautiful soup ladles William Rogers and these two iced teaspoons Sunday spoons whatever I decide to use them for from the Connecticut silver company so I like those are from New England I did find these two ice cream glasses Sunday glasses I'm not sure if those are keepers and then I might bring the blue glasses into the shop or if they might both go I'm not sure loved these little salt and pepper shakers and it's so funny this is definitely not a look I liked when I was younger I'm gravitating more towards the vintage items white Corel I love white Corel I use it a lot it blends nicely with my ironstone my Limoges uh, it really it's it's versatile and that will go into one of my cabinets these plates here are not marked but I was already thinking of fall when I saw these they almost feel like my Limoges it's nice and light porcelain very very pretty it's, it's almost translucent so I picked those up these were a dollar each then this little sweet terrine it's attached to the base little spoon could be from a child's tea set or something but if you know let me know but I'm going to use it for probably sugar or little jams or something like that and then going on the larger scale I ended up finding these two pieces also I've always needed a pizza board we make a lot of homemade pizza we do frozen pizza and I'm always pulling it out on a wood chopping board and this I found I've been finding a lot of them but they're pine and if I cut using the the pizza roll it would cut into it this is one bamboo and I found it brand new at a thrift store I got a book on afternoon tea this one has some wonderful recipes I cannot wait to make them green but the shop is having a garden event Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday my theme is going to be garden party and also gardening of course so I have items that will be there speaking of gardening things I had this left from the previous owner and I had it on the wall knowing at one point I was going to sell it at this event I had a previous follower subscriber visitor saying I was a devil worshiper and was going to unsubscribe to each their own but I don't think he's very friendly either but aren't these to ward off evil spirits correct me if I'm wrong I'm pretty sure that's what they're for and I got these other little sweet little boots to bring to the garden event and let's see what else 
for here to keep it sugar wood. This vase, I have some really large vases and some very small. I don't have anything in between. I liked the curve top of this. It's a little bit different and unique. So I picked that up. And in the background there, I have a vintage tulip shape one that I really like. Lily of the Valleys in there. I could put some marbles at the bottom to raise it. I think that would be so pretty. I found some Baldwin brass candlesticks. Let me head over to there. Oh, I can stop here too. This was very dirty. It didn't look anything like this. I gave it a quick cleaning. So once again, this might go to the shop for the garden entertaining theme. And this is my little vintage candle holder. I mean, I'm sorry, flower holder. So these are Baldwin brass. I used to carry this line a long time ago in the store. I wish they still were in business and still made them. And then I also picked up a candle snuffer. Can't say this is refined, but when I use something like this, it's so fun to sift the flour. I have a very old one, but now I have one that's in a lot better condition. Going to the shop are these cute little bunny plates. They're from Pier One. Then I have this colander. This is the color I absolutely adore. I kind of call it periwinkle, cornflower blue, but it matches the foxgloves that I carry. And this is a pair I kept for myself. And I just love, like I said, I love that color. So what I need to do is put a lot of these things away once I clean them up. I'll put them in the cabinets. I'm going to work on hanging some pictures. And then I have to price some of these items that I do know that are going to the shop, such as a lot of the things in this boxes, including some pretty greens I picked up from one of my vendors. And I have some other fun finds over there too. Refined finds within those boxes. I just went and grabbed some things that were on the kitchen counter I forgot I was going to show you as well. Now these are thrifted books that I did order on Amazon due to one of our kindred spirits selling me that when she hears about my journals and things I write about, she says, you need to read Gladys Tabor. It sounds so much like what you're doing. Well, I grabbed these three books online and they actually had stickers that said thrift store. So that's cool. And some of them have personal notes and I do really see a connection here with how she writes and sees her cape property. When she explained the cape, I was like, wow, it's so similar to Sugarwood. And I just loved starting these books. So I'm going to do them in order and that's going to be my summer read. Three other books my daughter Shannon picked up and oh, and thank you so much for those of you who followed my daughter's channel. She's very excited. She's working on more videos. She too is a thrifter and loves to go out consignment shopping. She found these three books for me. Now I do have this one on my shelf already from a kindred spirit that sent me this book about three years ago. So I now have two of these books, but she found these for $3 each at a thrift store and the stories are so nice. And this I just picked up at, I think this was probably Savers or dollar or two. I saw this on another YouTube channel. I'm gonna, I think it was Josie. I know it was Josie. And I really liked the idea of putting my seed packets in this photo album book so that I don't just keep collecting them and forgetting I have them. Now I can look and see what I have and plan them out. And it's not too late for me to plant some of these. So I found this, like I said, at Savers and I really liked this idea. And this book, I actually kept it up here the other day. So now I know where it is. One thing I just found out about these Fox gloves, you can answer your phone with them. The buttons work. I'm going to head out to the garden now and I figured I'm going to take you with me just for a little bit to show you how these gloves work. Anybody else have a basket of shoes? My gardening clogs are so old. I'm going to slip my feet in there. Would you like to come out Willow? So 
So I think I'm going to, let's get, I'm going to get the vegetables in. Nope, I don't have the soil in the vegetable garden bed yet. So I think I'll tackle some of the flowers and get some of the bark mulch spread over here. It's mulch compost. So I'm going to show you something that I think is pretty amazing. Here's the glove that I've just been using. And I used it full force, mud, water, the whole works. I just took it off. Nothing under my nails, maybe a little, but nothing compared to the other gloves that I usually use. Pretty amazing. Oh, look like somebody got near my flowers, Willow. share at least this box opening with you. I ordered yet again some more wallpaper that might work in the tavern. After seeing the trompe l'oeil wallpaper in the inn at Hastings Park, I decided to look up that wallpaper, which is Cole and Sons. It is no longer available in that particular color. So I ended up finding another one. And this is a peel and stick. I've never seen it in person. Um, what I went by is it says the color pewter, which is definitely the color theme. Oh, and I, just a minute. I have a piece of my Tally Ho wallpaper here, but I'll also go in the other room. So I'm hoping that this pewter is what I'm looking for. And I like the look of it. So let's take a peek and see what we have here. Oh, I think we found it. I think I'm very excited right now. I was looking forward to doing the board and batten, but then again, I wasn't. You know, it's kind of like been there, done that. It took a long time. And the fact that this is removable is intriguing. It's a peel and stick. Let's see. Oh, I think this color is going to be amazing perfect. I don't think you can get any better than that. I think we are all set. Wow, I might be able to do this this weekend. I've never done peel and stick wallpaper, uh, but I did play with color forms as a kid, so I got this. I'm very excited. I guess I should go look at it with the pink color though. Hmm. I was actually going to go in the other room right now, but before I get sidetracked, I have a couple of the things I want to open here just to show you some things that I'll be putting online soon. Actually, these are already online, but they've been doing so well. Oops, I think I have to change my, my knife here needs to be fixed. But I ordered this beautiful color. So I've had these, I'm gonna talk before I make the crinkles. I've had these fox gloves before. I can't find mine anywhere. So I'm actually looking at these two colors. These are very similar to what one of my first store color concepts was. Let me see if I can find that sign. I saw it the other day, but I love this color. It's like a periwinkle. So I'm going to be keeping a pair for me for these, but these will be online. And what's nice about the Fox Glove, they were created in New York by a woman who really loved to garden, but the gloves were too chunky and big. And she ended up making something after ladies' evening gloves. 
this knit is really, really, really tight so that even soil doesn't work its way through gloves, through these gloves, like gardening gloves do, which is pretty amazing. Now, yes, you're always gonna get something through, but I tell you, these are a really nice brand and I love that they were created in New York. So I'm going to put, let me see if I have some smalls here. I'm gonna put a small aside for me, but these will be going online very soon. I did order more of the lemon balm tea because after the, the butterfly pea flower and lemon balm tea that I created for being a little more calm, they sold out. So I got some more, but I already forget what other flavors that I got. So let's see what I got. Oh, these are boxed too. So I can see. So this one is a lemon balm. Excuse me. So I have some more lemon balm tea. And this box size is a little bit bigger, so I don't know what I did. Oh, I think this is for iced tea. I've got two boxes of this. Let's see what I have. I went to buy some more of the Summer Toddy Mix, sold out. So I figured I'd try this one. Mm. Peach iced tea. Maybe I'll try to make this this weekend and uh, give it a try. It smells amazing, very fresh. And these are good until April 30th, 2025. So these are gonna go online by this weekend as well. All right, now to go check out that wallpaper. I'm very excited. So while I'm walking in towards the tavern, I don't have any lights on, you can actually see the green undertone of the pink color, which is called Richmond Gray. But the way the light is hitting right now from the other north facing room, which has blue in it, North colored light has blue. It's making the paint show very green right now. But I wanted to show you the wallpaper. I started it. And I think what I'm going to do is the trim along the top. I will be painting it to look a little bit more like the molding. And I'm going to say that using this wallpaper was kind of tough because it doesn't slip and slide. I'm gonna get a little closer and back up here. I can put the lights on later for you. It doesn't slip and slide like working with real wallpaper does. There was less mess, but I fought with it a lot. This particular wall, I didn't realize, and then I did remember that the top molding had a warp in it. And I figured when I was gonna do the board and batten, you wouldn't see it because the next board down would, would be quite a ways down and it wouldn't show. Well, unfortunately, with this that has a nice straight line, I leveled the wallpaper and you can see here on the right hand side, it's a little narrower. So down the road, if I choose, I could take the molding off. Luckily, it's just small brads that I put in with a nail gun I didn't glue. And I could do a little bit larger piece of wood and trim and make it balance out all the way around the room. I'd have to change the whole piece. So I've got the rest of the room to do. I have the, the wallpaper here. But while I'm in this room, so here's another hat box I just picked up. And I'm going to be looking for maybe a third or a top hat to put on top of that. I do have one from Halloween that Ben used, but I think I want to try to find a nice old vintage one. My simple pleasure for the day. I just went to Ava Marie's Chocolate in Peterborough to grab an ice cream. My first ice cream since I don't know how long ago. The ice cream is from Richardson's Dairy. I had no idea. And Richardson's Dairy is in the town that I grew up in. My family home was there for 40 years. And I actually have a taste of home. This is so exciting. Once again, life's little pleasures.
Well, this could go horribly wrong. I was always going to get some cattle fencing to make an arch over here to let the roses grow over. I don't know. I might have just wasted my time. Well, it has a way to go, but it was kind of fun walking through the arch this morning to go out to the backyard. This has a way to go, but it's now my base and I can keep adding some more sticks. This is going to be beefed up. I'm gonna get some rebar, I think, because I really want this to be as firm as possible. I was going to get rebar last year because I had a whole video that I was creating a wattle fence around the beautiful white tank there for the propane. Couldn't find the rebar that I wanted for the size, and then I ended up getting sticks, and it just was not working the way I wanted it. But I think this, the length of the rebar that I can put my hands on will be perfect, and then I can start adding more of the twigs and really making it nice and thick while I search for the climbing roses or some sort of climbing vine.